Pico Laser for dark circles, my honest results. Many people think that Pico Laser would be the best laser for under eye dark circles, but oftentimes there are much more effective and longer lasting lasers with respect to outcomes and superior results than the Pico Laser when it comes to under eye dark circles. Hi my beauties, my name is Dr. Stephanie Kappel and I provide non-sponsored content, so please share this channel and subscribe if you want non-sponsored content by a dermatologist who just wants you to be able to make informed decisions that are not influenced by marketing or big pharma or other companies and just straight from the source of someone who spent 25 years studying the skin under the microscope and just want you to have the best skin of your life of every age. Watching this video, you'll understand the Pico laser and how it might not be the best option for under eye discoloration or under eye dark circles. Lasers are a very complex, complicated, photo medicine subspecialty of dermatology and many of the derm residents don't really even understand lasers. There's many dermatologists who don't understand lasers, but I am an expert in this area and I wanted to share my knowledge with you guys so that you can make better, more well-informed decisions for yourself and for your skin to treat your precious face when it comes to lasers. What is a pico laser? A pico laser is a picosecond, which is a trillionth of a second. And in photo medicine, that's very, very fast. And when you have a fast delivery of energy, there is a photoacoustic, but no photothermal event that, that transpires in the skin and the tissue photon interaction that takes place I'm trying not to sound too scientific but in English what it means is there's no dissipation of heat because it's so fast and what that means is is there's less risk of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation in darker skinned individuals so part of my laser fellowship training was treating skin of color in darker skin tones and understanding how the tissue interaction with these lasers can increase hyperpigmentation or have uh, instability and pigmentary alteration and how to approach and adjust the parameters accordingly but the reason why a pico laser is a great laser is because it's a great laser for darker skin tones there's no photoacoustic, or there is a photoacoustic and no photothermal event that happens in the skin, so it's less risky for post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. I love it for brown spots, for solar lentigines, for melasma, um, for evening out pigmentation, but for under eyes, there's usually a better laser, and you would be surprised. The reason why Pico is not my favorite laser for treating under eye hyperpigmentation is because we get better results with other lasers, which I can talk about in other videos, but usually a 1927 nanometer handpiece on like the Fraxel or a Clear and Brilliant does a lot better long term than a pico laser. Sometimes because that tissue is so thin and delicate and because that's such a fast delivery of heat and energy into the skin, there can be a bruising effect that happens and it can cause a hemosiderin deposition in the skin. Now hemosiderin is iron and so what happens is you treat the melanin, the hyperpigmentation with the laser, then you get this iron deposition under the skin and it makes the under eyes look darker or worse. So you're exchanging a, one type of pigment for another. You're treating the melanin but now you're having iron deposition in the skin. And we've seen that in clinical trials and we've seen that reported at our M&M cases, um, morbidity and mortality cases at a lot of our academic meetings. So for select cases, yes, I think Pico laser may be good for under eye discoloration, but there are often better lasers that give better results, longer lasting results and happier happier patients with better satisfaction with the outcome from other lasers. Now V-beam is the tried and true dark, under eye dark circle, best laser, I don't care what skin type it is, how thin your skin is, how thick your skin is, what the melanin deposition looks like under the microscope. V-beam has this brightening effect that's superior under the eyes that is time and time again, you know, gets the award for the best under eye dark circle brightener laser. Now I did my under eye dark circles when I was in my late 30s, I'm in my late 40s now, and I have since then have not needed to use concealer, but I used to always try to cover up my dark circles with you know, concealer and makeup. And I remember during my fellowship, I did an under eye treatment with V-Beam because we were seeing all these patients having amazing results with under eye brightening with V-Beam. I did it to myself, three treatments, based one month apart, and I've had, never had to do it since. So the reason why V-Beam works is because it treats the underlying vasculature, which can give that kind of purple darkish hue under the eyes, whereas Pico is treating melanin. Now there's three main reasons why people have dark circles under the eyes. It can be melanin, which is usually her hereditary or genetic and has to do with their skin type. It can be from the underlying vasculature, which gives this like dusky blue, gray, purple kind of hue under the eyes. It can make us look sick or tired or old, or it could be volume loss. Sometimes with volume loss, you have shadowing that happens under the eyes and it can make our eyes look sunken. And in that case, you have to restore the volume. And we could talk about that different modalities to restore volume in another video, but it's either pigment, which is melanin, underlying vasculature, you treat with V-beam, 
or it is volume loss in that, in that area you have to, if that's the reason you have to restore the volume. Now, when it comes to treating melanin, you have several options. And when you look at the selective theory of photothermolysis, which in English means what laser wavelength is gonna target that chromophore, the target in the skin? What laser is going to be coherent in its wavelength to target that melanin, to make that melanin explode and go away and have your immune system come clean it up and just clean up your skin and have it brighter, fresher, and even in the, in the color and tone. And there are several lasers that target melanin as the chromophore, PICO is just one of them. And although I love PICO for melanin and other parts of the body, it's not my favorite for under eye. You can use, like I said, the Fraxel, the Clear and Brilliant. I would try to avoid BBL or IPL, which is broadband light and intense pulse light because those aren't truly lasers. They're just broadband lights that you put a filter on that kind of makes it act like a laser, but it's kind of like a cheap knockoff of a laser. So the, la the results aren't usually long lasting and sometimes it can actually make it worse. So usually for hyperpigmentation for under eyes, I would go either a Fraxel or a Clear and Brilliant, or I would go with a V-beam, which gives more reproducible, better outcomes every time. I don't think I've ever had a patient who did not respond to V-beam for under eye dark circles or was happy and ecstatic with their results. So I hope this makes sense. Pico is a great laser for other treatments, but when it comes to melanin, there are other lasers that are better for under eye hyperpigmentation treatment. In most cases, it's not even a hyperpigmentation issue. It is a underlying vasculature issue, even regardless of skin type, skin thickness, or age.